To be any other living beings in Zone Zero, so I must assume that you are only a mere figment of my imagination. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the judge, and I am aching to know your name, dear illusory interlocutor. I am the baiter. I've been assigned to a separate mission. It is a pleasure. However, it is not the puppet I was addressing, but the puppeteer controlling it. What is your name, dear puppeteer? Their name is the player. They can't talk to us. However, they can hear and see everything. Even though you two are but an inexistent apparition in my eyes, let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear player. I believe we are in need of your services. Many people are in need of my services. Everybody loves cats. We rub ourselves against their legs and purr in the most insistent manner. They I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see. But what sort of service could I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? I have a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. <laughs> Ah, uh, there's no objective more laudable than yours. Hmm. I, I accept to serve you as a guide through this area, if it is of any help to you. Thanks. Allow me to confess that I find you quite tangible for a phantasmagorial being. Might you in fact be a creature of flesh and blood? I think so, yes. So I have been mistaken from the beginning. You do not even interrupt me in my deluded phantasms. This is relatively bizarre, I must say, for you are the first living being I was given a chance to encounter in this loo. I had in fact concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land. Obviously I was misled. However, there exist other zones in those territories. The risk of hostile individuals attacking you in the most violent manner is quite high. Your sacred mission will likely lead you into these lands. Would you like me to teach you the art of violent confrontation? Okay. Your opponent in this case will be yours truly. You have a choice, dear puppeteer. You can decide whether to attack, allow your puppet to fight on his own, or flee. As its name indicates, is the option of the coward. I dehold this alternative, but remember solely the battle is responsible for that option in his personal memory. Now is the time for offense. Try to strike a classic bat blow to my teeth. Excellent, dear sport of good fat. Try to catch up.
you might want to use your competency, which are generally, in layman's terms, special moves. They can trigger surprising effects such as induce a resurgence of health, or may be in and of themselves powerful attacks. Nevertheless, know this, any use of competences leads to consumption of your energy, so I ask that you use these skills sparingly. Once it is fully consumed, it will be impossible to carry out heavy assaults. But try it right away. Use your wide angle, which will allow you to analyze your enemy. <laughs> you now know not only all about me, but also about the art of combat. About the wide angle, know that its analysis will always be based on the start of the battle. Try to utilize an object. Take this luck ticket and use it on the batter's person with gratitude. Impeccable! Your mastery of battle borders on brilliancy, my friend. Take good care of your health if you want a successful career in purification. From now on, you will be ready to crush all impure obstacles that get in your luminous mission's way. Be it as it may, your training has not reached its end yet. Let me ask you to follow me, if you still want me as your guide. Ah, yes. To pass through here, you need to use your cerebral organ. You know, the one bathing flabbily in your tired cranium. I believe those floating blocks correspond to the symbols you see on the wall in some way or another. This is the main sort of puzzle in this game. <laughs> Finally, after all that exertion, the eagerly awaited recompense makes its entrance to the scene. <laughs> Here's an accessory that is going to be especially helpful on your purifying quest, dear enlightened student and sportive friend. It is a cube hovering in midair, as you have likely noticed. Nevertheless, you will be able to differentiate it from similar ones by the contrast of bad taste it imposes on your view of its dashing color. However, do not judge it too quickly. Because despite its criticizable appearance, this cube is of undeniable use. Aside from rendering you the entirety of your health and energy, it is capable of saving your progress and sending you to the nothingness. The nothingness is a loo of transition outside of space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. I now invite you to try it out. Okay. Do not worry. I too travel a lot through the different zones of the world. We will newly meet one another eventually, without a doubt. Ah, by the by, this object of a curious name will be the key that permits you to enter Zone 1. <laughs> 